Magic the Gathering fans, the wait is over. The one of one, the one ring card has been pulled. And not only has it been pulled, but it's been graded. Now, I'm not a big Magic the Gathering fan. However, I am a big Pokemon trading card fan. And when I heard that this story broke, I was very shook to hear that someone that, you know, was a very big, passionate fan of Magic the Gathering found the card. It didn't fall into one of these big time card collectors or big time uh, card, you know, scammers almost, I want to say, but it, it, it literally was pulled by a diehard fan. Not only was it pulled by a diehard fan, but PSA authenticated the pull as soon as it was pulled and received a mint nine grading, which honestly is a pretty good grading, especially since it's the only card in existence. What is the one ring card, you might be asking? Now, Magic the Gathering fans, you gotta bear with me and my Pokemon trading card uh, community here. Um, the one ring is a special card that is in the Lord of the Rings slash Magic the Gathering collab. And there is four different versions. The one I'm talking about is called the serialized version. And it's the actual ring from Lord of the Rings written in I, I, Elfish, I guess? Lord Sauron's language. That's The whole card is written in Lord Sauron's English. Did I say English? I meant language. I'm so sorry. The odds of pulling this was a 0.00003%. That's a three ten thousandth percent. A young man by the name of Brooke pulled the card and like I said it was authenticated as soon as it was pulled it received a mint 9 rating um seeing how it's a one of one shouldn't it be a gem mint 10 that's all I'm gonna say but PSA new is obviously the experts here and I'm not and they ranked it a mint 9 but that's not quite where the story ends the story ends by famous rapper post Malone buying the one ring card which is insane because he's a rapper <laughs> now i know what you're thinking logan paul's been doing this logan paul did this with pokemon cards he did it with the charizard the first edition charizard i think it was for 500,000 or some crazy bs like that i don't really pay attention to that because in all real in all honesty i don't trust logan paul when it comes to valuation of things i'm looking at you crypto scam logan paul Oh, but VK, you drink Prime. Why are you now shitting on Logan Paul? Maybe it's because I drink Prime because I like to support KSI, who's one of my favorite YouTubers. I don't mind Logan Paul, but he's definitely not on my favorite lists. Anyway, we're getting off track. This isn't the first time Post Malone bought a Magic the Gathering card. He bought a Magic the Gathering card, I believe it was a Red Lotus or a Black Lotus or something like that, something with Lotus in it, for $800,000 that was autographed by, I believe, a famous Magic the Gathering artist? But let's quick take a look at uh, the reaction of Brooke packing the One Ring. And of course, we see that this is a genuine friend by the shaking of the hands, the immediate card sleeve it goes into. This was legitimate. Now, the card was packed in June, and like I said, it was authenticated, but the story then culminates with Post Malone buying it, as I said earlier. Post Malone bought the card for $2 million. Plus, I'm hearing reports that it might even be $2.6 million. Here is the transaction of Post Malone buying the card. So, for anyone questioning why is Post Malone buying this card, it's because he genuinely enjoys the game. So, legend, legend of the game, right? So I am so happy that someone like this received the card and bought the card and it wasn't Logan Paul or, you know, any of the other people that do it. I think Sean Mendez was dealing in Pokemon cards at one point. So this is a huge win for not just Magic the Gathering fans, but just all trading card game fans in general. Obviously it benefits the Magic community a little bit more. But this has been VK, this has been my views. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.